Good afternoon and welcome to Dream Builders. My name is Chris Greenville and I've had the honor of serving as the Executive Director of Teton Habitat since September. We're delighted that you're able to join us in support of the Habitat mission. We rely heavily upon this event to fund our programs and operations year round. I want to acknowledge right away that this is an unconventional Dream Builders. In an effort to honor the social distancing guidelines called for by public health officials, we made the difficult decision to move this event into an online platform. Taking the event virtual gave us the opportunity to be more creative, be more inclusive, and ensure the safety of the entire Habitat family. We have a great program planned. With that, I'd like to introduce our board president, Carol Linton. Thank you, Chris. And thanks to all of you for joining us. Welcome. Teton Habitat relies on a community of support to operate and provide homeownership opportunities for our neighbors. We would especially like to thank and recognize the generosity and support for the Bank of Jackson Hole, who is our presenting sponsor for this event. I would like to introduce Don Paxton Pruitt, who is a fellow board member and Bank of Jackson Hole representative who will share a few words. Good afternoon, my name is Dawn Pruitt and I have the unique uh, opportunity of working for Bank of Jackson Hole as their senior vice president um, and I'm also a board member for Habitat for Humanity and that has afforded me an opportunity to um, engage in both aspects of home ownership, um, doing mortgage lendings for the bank and then being very involved in providing housing for Habitat for Humanity locally. I think one of the things that I most appreciate and enjoy um, about Habitat as an organization is the vast diversity of opportunities that are presented with the Restore and the Family Selection Committee and the Family Support Committee and the Finance Committee and the volunteerism on site. The reason that I choose to be a board member for Habitat for Humanity um, is the way that they choose to engage the community in their processes and in their mission. And so anyone who's involved in housing or who has a business or who has children can certainly relate to the mission and the work that Habitat does. And it just offers so many opportunities for people to get involved. And I think really is a cornerstone of building um, the community that we all want to live in. I recall um, an, a conversation and an application with an individual who was want to, wanted to get pre-approved um, to buy a home because the situation she was living in was such that she was not allowed to make more money and retain her housing. And so it really just struck me that she was being held back from her career goals and her you know, path um, due to this restriction of not being able to make more money. Happy to say that she actually became a Habitat home homeowner and has been promoted several times and I think really um, just shows that if people are given those opportunities, they will thrive. We're very proud to be a part of that. Um, it's been really rewarding for me as an individual, for my colleagues. The chairman and CEO of uh, Bank of Jackson Hole, Pete Lawton, always says that, you know, Jackson isn't just somewhere that we work. We live here, we play here, we raise children here, we raise our families here. It's really critical for the whole Valley's success. Thanks for watching this video. I'm not wearing pants either. It's fun to be on this side of the camera and to see inside your house. Look at that, that's embarrassing. Just as a personal plug, I could really use more volunteers on this site, and if you haven't volunteered in a while, let's get going on that, huh? Thanks for staying with us. Remember to donate. It really does take an entire community. Before we move to this next segment, I would like to recognize our annual sponsors, Tom Evans Real Estate, BMC West, Outpost JH, Denver Construction, Wyoming Title and Escrow, and Teton Heritage Builders. 
Thank you for your continued support. In addition to these monetary donations, we have several gift and kind donors who have made this luncheon possible. Thank you to Tower 3 Productions, Glyphon Designs, and Eleven. Every year we choose a theme that is reflected in the program and in our work year round. This year, our theme is Many Hands, One Community. We aim to recognize the many individuals it takes to make a community and the many individuals it takes to build affordable housing for our workforce and local families. When I think about the Many Hands theme, I am reminded of my first days here in Jackson as Executive Director. I had the pleasure of meeting so many people in this community who are enthusiastic and supportive of Habitat's work. It continues to inspire me even today. This year's theme reinforces how important it is to have the Jackson Hole community behind us. Now we're gonna take a moment to recognize an outstanding Habitat supporter and volunteer. This award is called the Golden Hammer Award and presenting it is Augusta Friendsmith, a fellow board member. Please take it away, Augusta. Thank you, Carol, and thank you to everyone who is still here with us today. Today I am presenting the coveted Golden Hammer Award. Every year Habitat presents the Golden Hammer Award to an individual or group who goes above and beyond for Habitat in terms of community service and dedication. And today our award goes to my friend, Matt Hare. Matt Hare is an outstanding volunteer. He has participated in the uh, Family Selection Committee. He joined myself, my husband, and 20 other volunteers to go to Mexico to build two homes last year. And as of today, he has volunteered over 1,000 hours on the Grove site. So he is here on the job site today, completing his thousand hours. Let's go see if we can find him. I think he's up in the attic. Yeah, we'll get to the site. Take a break. Let's dig okay. in. Help me out with this. Consequently, don't use a real golden hammer. It doesn't work very well. I tried. I had one from Fabergé and it just fell apart. We're going to take a little dance break, everybody. So let it fly. Naturally, you know, you want to look good like you're in the club. This is how I look in the club. You thought it couldn't get any better and it just did. <laughs> Donations are coming in. Gracias por formar parte de este evento. It really takes every one of us, an entire community, to pull this off. Before we hand the mic over to some very special hosts who will guide you through the rest of the program, let's catch you up on what Habitat's been up to. Like most organizations in Jackson, and everywhere else for that matter, our operations came to a screeching halt in March. But this terrific staff stayed committed to our mission, kept working together, and moving us forward. In May, we hosted our first Blitz build at The Grove in partnership with local professional builders. Teton Heritage Builders, New West Building Company, Bell Construction, and GE Johnson Construction Company all donated a professional crew of framers for one day to show their support for our affordable housing and Teton Habitat's mission. It takes so many hands to build a Habitat home, and we are so grateful for all of their hard work. Our Restore manager, Andy, and the entire Restore crew did not sit idle during the temporary closure. They organized, they cleaned, and they planned to reopen safely for shoppers, volunteers, and the entire community. Hello there, Restore supporters. We are now reopened for business. We're excited to see all your wonderful faces and accept your donations and provide you with the items that you love. 
Our eager volunteers are back on the construction site. We are happily overwhelmed with the long list of people who are ready to get back out there. On behalf of the entire Habitat staff, we say thank you. Thanks, Chris. It's really great to see our staff and community volunteers come together again. I'm anxious to introduce our very special and adorable host for the remainder of the program. But before I do, I just want to remind all of you who are joining us that this is a very critical fundraiser for our organization. It supplies our operating funds for the remainder of the year. Please give generously and thank you for joining us. Okay, everybody, we've got something a little interactive here. Uh, I want you to take out your lunch bag, all right? Take it out, pull everything out from the inside, and look on the inside. And if you look on the inside, do you see it? Are you with me? Do this together. If you look on the inside, you'll see the bottom of an empty bag. Gotcha, didn't I? But you're awake. You feeling it? Hey, hey, wake up. Wake, wake. There you go. Hi, welcome back. Let's all eat together. Everybody take a bite of your sandwich. And feel free to share with your host, because they didn't give me one. You know, that's, that's funny. I don't remember giving you that margarita. Where'd you get that from? The donations are coming in. Please keep them coming. We haven't reached our goal yet. It really does take an entire community to make this happen. Welcome to Dream Builders! What is the favorite part of your house? Um, mine is my room. Is the roof? Have you ever been up there, silly? Have you ever been on your roof? No. The attic. So what does your dream house look like? It would be one story, and it would have a hall where everyone had their own room, and there would be, um, like, laundry rooms in every room, and it would have horses. Mine would be a tree house. <laughs> Why unicorns? We didn't think to put those in, so guys, you need to give a little bit more money so we get some unicorns in these houses. How much money can we raise today? A million? Now we're talking. A trillion? Now we're talking. <laughs> What's bigger than a trillion? Eternity. We <laughs> want an eternity of money. Just keep it coming, folks. How much does a house cost? Um, I think $100 or $6, maybe $1,000. Yeah, I would say st yeah, I would say six thousand or like ten thousand. Mm, Two thousand dollars. Well, kids, it's actually three point nine million. How many people does it take to build a habitat house? Um, um probably um maybe like five. Well, kids, it takes one thousand six hundred and eighty-five volunteers to build a habitat home. And our number one volunteer put in 711 hours by himself for just the Grow 3.2 campaign. Whew, that's a lot. Puts me to shame. How many nails does it take to build a house? Um, probably like 2,500. About 6,000? Or 10, or 900, or 10,000, or 10, 50,000. Actually, it took 72,275 and a half nails per building. You know how stuff gets thrown away and goes to the landfill every year? How much of that do we uh, make sure doesn't go to the landfill? How much is diverted every year? Um, I have no idea. In fiscal year 2019, 365,000 pounds of waste were diverted from the landfill. What is deed restriction and how does it work? What does it sound like? Um, it looks like a ghost makes spooky sounds. <laughs> that was Barely Sammy out of cave. Apparently, a deed restriction is a ghost making spooky, spooky sounds when he comes out of a cave. And as far as I know, that's exactly what it is. Well, kids, a deed restriction in very simple terms means things you're not allowed to do in your home, um, as well as protective things for your home. Our deed restrictions, what those look like, are really to protect our homeowners, but also to protect um, the home so that it continues to be an affordable home. So, I'm growing up. Okay. So, my dad already has grown it up. 
So since you're growing up and your dad is already grown up, are you then going to become like your dad? Mm, Dad's gonna be a little boy, so. <laughs> Wait, so he's gonna be a little boy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna he's actually getting younger, and you're getting older. Yes. You heard it here. We found Benjamin Button. I think I'm four years old. You think you're four years? How old do you think I am? Um, I think you are twenty. I am twenty. Whoa! This happens when you're eighteen, and then you're twenty. Up next is the habitat owners. That was really good. My name is Alejandro Jimenez Vasquez. My name is Prim Loudenslager. Don Webster. And I'm a Habitat homeowner. I'm a Habitat homeowner. And I'm a Habitat homeowner. So we moved to Jackson when my daughter was 10. Moved to various different apartments and we're always dealing with leases ending and rent being raised. I think we had moved 13 times in 10 years. We had to worry every time my husband got a raise at work. Each promotion was a little bit scary because we had to refile with the apartment complex and there was always a chance that his raise would put us over the threshold. So it was very stressful to have to worry instead of celebrate when he did well at work. I was about to finish high school, so there was definitely a lot of pressure building up as to what I was gonna do after high school and like what my plans were. So when we received the news that we were getting the home, it was in a way life-changing. It was a big moment for all of us, I think, in the family. It was nice to have somewhere where we knew that there was a home to come to at the end of the day. It really did make me feel validated and, a, and an accepted member of the community, which was lacking in our previous situation. We were relatively new to the community, so that was a very cool thing to see that not only people that I had worked with for only maybe a year or two, as well as people that I didn't know at all, and Habitat has that way of just like bringing people together just based on their reputation and just really comes together in an incredible way. Some of the memories that I do have is getting to meet some of the people and talking to them and them asking questions, you know, like always curious about like, what, what do you like and like, what do you want to go to school for and all of that kind of stuff. So I think those interactions really like served as a foundation for like what I pictured and what I saw Habitat for Humanity was, which was just, you know, a supporting group of people that, you know, we're all coming together and wanting to see the best for their community and helping one another. I really loved working with Habitat. I loved being on the build sites. And it's really cool to see that people care that much and are willing to give back that much. And that bolsters my faith in humanity and this, this community. I think what my family enjoys most about the house is it's sort of like a home base. Family can come visit and you know we have a place for them. And I think that just goes back to you know the level of the levels of community that exists within Habitat for Humanity from the start to when people receive their homes. My favorite thing about our house is security. With a yard, they're able to run around outside and they're gonna grow up in the same place and sleep in the same bed and hang their pictures on the same walls. I love that sense of continuity for my children and my family. So we can focus on the adventures and the fun and the friends that come over and share our space. My daughter, is, um, she graduated from the University of Wyoming. She lives in Arizona now, but you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas or whenever she comes home, it's home, it's not just, you know, a place mom lives. Habitat today and all days, I would like to say thank you for giving us space and security and protection. The amount of impact uh, that you have made on my life and my family's life um, is just tremendous. I hope that in the future I 
am able to continue to see stories of, you know, like these and yeah, just keep going forward. It's hard to summarize how grateful I am to Habitat. Home is such a simple word, but when you have it, you don't take it for granted and the people that helped you get there, we're never gonna forget it. We're so grateful. Thank you, Habitat. Thanks for staying with us. We have not yet reached our goal. Please remember to donate. It really does take an entire community. <laughs> Up next, it's Shelby Reed. My name is Shelby Reed, and I live here in beautiful Jackson Hole. Um, and in 2019 was a member of the selection committee for the last round of Habitat Homes. I think it's easy to forget in such an idyllic place that we have challenges. Housing insecurity cuts across all of our racial, professional, occupational groupings. Those inequities impact so many folks that make it livable here. They are our teachers, they are our daycare workers, they are restaurant employees, they are mountain resort folks. The things that give us pleasure um, oftentimes come uh, because these folks work so tirelessly for our community and either have to commute an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, or they live in substandard conditions. One of the most difficult things to observe um, during my time sitting on the selection committee was the state of some of the homes that we visited. They simply weren't safe. Um, they weren't fit for anybody to be residing in, whether that was because of cold or mold or uh, rodents. It is no place to raise a family and it's no place for little ones. I know families that, besides my own, that have benefited from affordable housing programs here in Teton County and it is literally life-changing. It has the power to unlock so many positive things. It has the power to fundamentally change people's lives and what may seem like a hidden or non-urgent or not such a prolific issue really has profoundly negative impacts and when people have access to housing has profoundly positive impacts. I am hoping that my experiences and what I've seen and the people that I know and the stories that I hear across the community will spur our community members to act to support one another in securing housing. Thanks Habitat for caring about our community, caring about individual families, seeing people for who they are as individuals, and working in this really difficult place to get creative about how to get people homes. Hi, I'm Andy Swallow. I'm Restore Manager for Habitat for Humanity of the Greater Teton area. Peter Wood, I am the Construction Manager at Habitat for Humanity. Wendy Martinez, I am the Homeowner Services Manager. It's Nick Steren, I'm the Volunteer and Office Coordinator for Habitat for Humanity. Maggie Gabruck, and I'm the Development Officer at Habitat. Kelly Webb and I'm Operations Manager at Habitat. My name is Elizabeth Ferguson and I'm the Community Engagement Manager. I enjoy coming to work and the, the, the teamwork that we participate in. 
My favorite part is getting to meet the volunteers. Getting to know the families, their stories, their experiences. Interacting with the community. All the people I get to meet. Everyone cares so deeply about the mission and is just working toward a common goal. It's just absolutely fantastic to see how this organization can pull people together and create lasting bonds. To Habitat homeowners, thank you for inviting me into the Habitat family. It is such an honor to get to work with you and for you and for the rest of our community. You are deserving. I just want to say thank you for your dedication, your hard work, and your motivation. You guys are so inspiring. I find it amazing that you are balancing full-time jobs and still finding that sixth day to come out and work on the job site to complete your hours. Volunteers, we couldn't do this without you. You are so valuable and you just lift us up. You come in every day ready to work with full of energy and you make us want to be there too. Thank you guys so much. We could not do this without you. And thank you so much for making my job amazing. Thank you for your ongoing support. For our donors and volunteers, thank you for always going above and beyond and supporting our Habitat mission and providing um, home ownership opportunities for the hardworking people of this community. It goes far. We do our best to stretch that money and get as many people housing as we can in Teton County. And there's a great need, so keep it coming. Thank you all so much for choosing Habitat to support and for being here today. We could not complete our mission without you, and we need your continued support. We are so pleased with the support of all of the, those who have tuned in. As a reminder, we will be taking donations through this platform after the event. Please share this link with your family and friends to watch at any time. As we tally up the donations from today's fundraiser, I want to thank you again for being a part of it. Please keep an eye on your inbox and this page for the results of today's event. It's been really fun sharing this time with you. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for donating and thank you for being here, everyone. Goodbye. See you next, goodbye. See you next year. Goodbye. goodbye. See you next year. <laughs> See you I hope next so. Year. See you next year. Okay. See you next year. Next year. See you next year. Okay. So much. And we'll see you next year.